So I'm here with our July paper pumpkin. I um, am in Connecticut now. I'm in my house. I've got my um, desk and video area all set up. So um, I am making this video here with my stuff, which I am very happy about because it's been about a month of traveling for me. But um, I'm so excited to see this paper pumpkin kit because I heard this month that it's not cards. So um, let's see what we get. We get our paper pumpkin, thank you. Okay, and the familiar pool party paper. Okay, we get some hefty stamps this month. Um, one is a polka dot uh, background. One is like a hexagon honeycomb one. And one is a diagonal stripe. And this is called Party Penance. So I'm thinking we're gonna make penance. Um, we get this month a pool party Stampin' Spot, which is probably one of my favorite colors um, in the Stampin' Up color families. And Summer Star Fruit, which is really hot right now. My bestie, this is like her favorite color, like that mustardy star fruit color. She's way into fashion. So, um, ooh, cute. We're gonna be making some pennants. So, let's get this out of the way and open this up and see what's up. Okay, so this is the instructions. And, all right, we got some Stampin' Dimensionals, yay. Some cute little clothes pins and some string. Some um, wooden dowels, some sticks. And then we get the little paper punch out banners. All right, and um, let me show you how to put this together. All righty, so I'm going to show you how to make this pennant here. And then um, this one is a little bit simpler. You just um, punch it out and attach it to the stick. So that's pretty self-explanatory just by looking at the picture. So we're gonna save this to step it up a little bit and I'm gonna show you how to make this one. Okay, so we're gonna punch out. Um, well, not really punch out because they're already punched for you, but all these little banner pieces and we're gonna stamp on them so we can um, coordinate them to um, and make them a little bit more handmade. And this would be great to put on a cake. If you have anyone that has a birthday this month or next month or coming up, oh my gosh, this would look so cute on a cake. I mean, ridiculous. So um, I've got these pieces. And I'm gonna take some scrap paper and I'm just gonna lay it out. You really don't need to be neat about it. Okay, and then um, we're gonna take the stamp. Oh, where's my block? I packed it away. It's still packed. So um, you're gonna use your D block, but I'm gonna use this bigger one because I have it in my in my um, desk here. So um, you're gonna have a summer star fruit and a pool party ink spot. I'm gonna use my full size ones so I can um, save the little ones to give away later since I have the full size ones out. And we're just going to stamp. Um, you wanna start on the bottom of that there actually okay I didn't get the tips here so you might want to stamp this way learn from my mistakes guys so you might want to stamp that way and um, let me try to fix this here stamp the bottom see totally fixable cute okay and then I'm gonna do one in a honeycomb so we're gonna stamp up and down Oh, that's so cute. 
Look how cute the honeycomb one is. Cute. Alrighty, and then the dots. Cute. And then I'm just gonna clean my stamps really quick with my um, stamp and scrub. <laughs> 